Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will show you how I varnish my acrylic pour paintings. Those are a dry result from my last triptych flower dip. I will just talk a little bit, sorry, about this. Um, those who know me, you know that I use my pouring medium for flower dips and here I used Smart Craft, Smart Craft White Glue and what I see as a difference that my pouring medium is this kind of haziness, it's not a bad thing but I like more those crisp lines but still it 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 worked okay this one is just beautiful i just wish that it would be more in the center no it should be like that and uh, the last one turned out nice too uh, and glue does dry matte, dull or whatever uh, comparison to some other pouring mediums. Uh, maybe I can talk a little more one day about pouring mediums for those who are maybe beginners uh, and with, with varnish or with resin of course you will get your colors to pop more so you can use I like gloss varnish I don't know but uh, you can use matte or satin too it's not a big deal it's just a preference uh, they are all the same just you know that are different in gloss or not gloss. You can use of course those uh, gloss varnishes. I just grabbed this one uh, and brush it on. Some people use um, a socks. They put socks on, on your hand and wrap it into the canvas so they don't get strikes from the brush or something. Of course you can use resin, there is a ton of resins out there, but it's a, a little more work with resin and some people don't have a space or something. Uh, so this, I use this canvas varnish by Montana I believe Montana Colors Pro see um, it's better to to do it in um, outside but I have my doors open in my studio so I have enough air you you have to wear a mask but you can talk, you know, when you wear a mask. So uh, when I will varnish, I will put my mask on uh, so that I will not inhalate uh, things that I don't want to. Um, so I will varnish those three. Uh, and I believe that I will varnish this one too. I really like this one. This was just a deep, it was kind of a failed pour. I will link um, this in the description box and I can already see, you know, this was is done with my pouring medium and there is no varnish on it and it's glossy and when you put a, a coat of varnish on this 
one that I did with my pouring medium colors stand out much more. Uh, maybe I should show you. It's kind of a difference, but here is gold, so I will put those three aside. And of course you have to shake your bottle really good. And now I will just spray my sides first and then I will go on the top part just a second. Okay. I believe that it's enough because I already did it before. So just spraying the sides. Oop. Don't do that. And this is it. I'm done. This one is done. This is the how it looks wet. So let's grab another one. Uh, at the beginning I forgot to tell you that you have to of course clean your painting and I will uh, varnish this one too because it's sold to Sage. Sage if you are watching this I will, will varnish it today. Uh, this one is one of my favorite pours, I will say. So this is how I varnish my paintings. They are, there are a lot of products for that, so let me bring you back when they will dry after. They will be dry after a few hours. It doesn't take long for the varnish to dry. So here is dry varnish painting on the sun. And Fiona is calling. It's 
shiny, beautiful gold does stand out more. So, see, it's all dry now. Just as easy as that. And you have a nice, beautiful coat of varnish. So, this was it for today. If you have any questions about varnishing and other stuff, you can ask me in the comments. And see you on the next one. Bye!